Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult <laughs> and remake the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In the mountains of Adige, we discovered two skulls of an unknown to science creature, and a trunk with the emblem of Ananerb, perhaps the most secret society under his SS, which was engaged in occult sciences and otherworldly forces. I'll tell you more about Ananerb later in another post, it's impossible to put it in one short post like this. Elongated Skulls Many enthusiasts enthusiastically call elongated skulls evidence of forbidden archaeology. And some of them even believe that they are proof that the real history of mankind is in fact hidden from the people. But who, and more importantly, why is hiding the truth from us? Why are bizarre and unusual skull deformities ignored by scientists? And why do they persistently refuse to search for the truth? Among the most interesting examples of elongated skulls are the so-called skulls of the Paracas culture. They were discovered in the province of Pisco, Peru, almost a century ago. Once upon a time, the Inca Empire flourished in these places. These skulls are thought to be about 3,000 years old. And DNA tests have allegedly shown that the elongated skulls of the Paracas culture belong to a completely unknown to science human species. Take a good look, a dragon, a dwarf, giants, two popes, and various symbols. The vision of the cross, 1520 and 1524 in the Apostolic Palace in the Vatican, it is located in the solid die Constantino Hall of Constantine. In the painting, Emperor Constantine is seen just before the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. According to legend, a cross appeared to Constantine in the sky. But there is more, this mannerist painting is a crowded of images, including a dragon, a dwarf, giants, two popes, and various symbols. What do you think? Here Gerlis Donia was a Frisian rebel leader and pirate. West Frisian spelling written as Greet Pier, or by the Dutch translation, Gretty Pier, which referred to his legendary size and strength. Out of personal revenge for the bloody injustice that befell him, in 1515, with the killing of his kinsfolk and destruction of his property, he became a freedom fighter of legendary standing. In 1791, Jacobus Koch wrote that above the porticus of the new city hall of Lee Warden, two remarkably large swords were found, which were said to have belonged to Gretti Pier and Widger Jilkama. Gretti was noted for the ability to wield this great sword so efficiently that he could behead multiple people with it in a single blow. The sword was created before Gretti's time, and some say he never used it, while the Frisian people and museum claim he did. You decide. Just north of Kashin, in the small town of Nushabad, Iran, also spelled Nushabad, lies a sprawling underground city. Despite its impressive scale, the ancient buried shelter was completely unknown until a decade ago, when an oblivious resident stumbled upon a tunnel while digging a sewage ditch in his home. 
what was discovered was an extensive 1,500-year-old underground city, set between 3 to 18 meters, or 10 to 60 feet deep. The labyrinthine network was comprised of three stories of tunnels, chambers, air ducts, staircases, canals, and booby traps. It's considered a marvel of ancient architecture and engineering. This place seems to be a pre-mud flood city on which a city has been rebuilt. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. By the way, this is a mosaic from the ancient Roman city of Palestrina, 100 BC, depicts a recognizable dinosaur, looks like an iguanodon. The inscription is easily readable, in Russian, Crocodilla Partaluk. Partus, or Partaluk, in ancient Rus, was called a leopard. Two proofs in one. The proximity of extinct reptiles to humans, and the writing of the Cyrillic alphabet. In Delhi, in the courtyard of the Cut Minor Mosque, there is a metal column known to the world as the Indra Pillar. For several thousand years, it has withstood the effects of the weather without a trace of rust. The column is made of atomic iron without carbon and sulfur impurities at the molecular level. Nowadays, it is possible to obtain such perfectly pure iron by sputtering only in a vacuum, and only in small quantities. The height of Indra's pillar corresponds to a three-story house, moreover, the pillar goes into the earth for several tens of meters. It is not clear how, with the help of what mechanisms, this miracle was made and installed. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.